Hey guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video based on business intelligence. So today in this video, we will be seeing what is the architecture of BI or what architecture does the BI possesses or how it looks like. So well, this is how the architecture looks like. So uh, we have basically uh, categorized or classified this architecture into three different tiers. Tier 1, Tier 2 and Tier 3 and so in the very first tier we have operational systems and other external data. In the Tier 2 we have the data warehouse which stores a unique or unified schema throughout and then in Tier 3 we have different individual transactional databases like logistic, marketing, then performance evaluation. So we'll uh, have a look on them one by one. So before that we have to understand that is there are three major or prime components for BI architecture. So the very first one we have the data sources. So in data sources all those uh, data requirements and gathering and all kind of integrations from multiple heterogeneous primary secondary sources all those structured unstructured multi-structured semi-structured data are categorized into this and moreover uh, in data sources you have the operational systems data so that's like uh, the data from the industry or data from the enterprise which is like uh, over the transactions or past history data are all categorized into this so operational sources uh, majorly contribute into the data sources that is in the tire one. Then you have all the unstructured documents such as like emails, data from external providers, email servers, IP servers and all those things. So well this comprises all the data sources from the architecture of BI. Then we have uh, the data warehouse and data mart. So data warehouse nothing but it stores a unified scheme of all the data like you have all the unstructured, semi-structured, multi-structured data from all the primary secondary sources coming. So what it does it basically maintains a unified schema throughout it maintains an index for that uh, each particular user can access it very easily. And data mart is like uh, for example consider you are going to a shopping mall it's like uh, uh, you have like uh, in that particular section you have grocery store so all those fruits and vegetables and all the items are just maintained in a particular track so you like you uh, did not uh, approach any kind of employee for getting those kind of particular items so it's simple as that so data are uh, well managed and well arranged or ordered in that particular kind of uh, repository so that's nothing but data mart and so you use kind of ETL tools ETL is extraction transformation and loading tools uh, to the heterogeneous data to form different sources and stored in the databases to support different BI tasks which in turn will give rise to a different decision supporting uh, activities or a task. Then we have the BI methodologies that on the tier 3 that is we have the data extraction and supplementation to mathematical models like you extract the data from all these things and then you supply it to your mathematical models and analysis methodologies which are the two prime components which we have seen in the BI definition and for uh, they do the decision making activities in this. So, this was a, a short introduction regarding the BI architecture and this is the primary uh, principles or components of how the uh, decision making works. So it's not from the uh, top down, it works from the bottom up approach. So at the base you have the data sources that is data from operational data, docs and external data, all data. So that comes at the base level. Then you have the data warehouse that moves here as well as data mud which is used for multi-dimensional cube analysis you uh, operate or you generate OLAP cubes and all. Then you have the data exploration that you uh, just visualize it and then statistical analysis is done by using certain kind of uh, visualization techniques like you have histogram, then you have scatter plot, lowest curve, QQ plot and all those kind of things. So you visualize those kind of data and summarize it and then moving up you have the data mining that is you have certain kind of models for uh, formulating or for like uh, learning from the data. So that's where the machine learning comes into picture. You have different models, you have Markovian models, you have all other clustering techniques, classification techniques, tree representations, card techniques and all. So that all comes in data mining. Then you move up, you have the optimization. Then you choose the best approach from all those alternatives and you select one and finally then you make the correct and approach a proper decision for your data mining system or for your industry. So well that was all about regarding a small introduction regarding the BI architecture. So hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got educated by watching this video. Please do like, share, comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.